Hi everybody, welcome to podcast 2.02 and get ready to actually learn to name something. Ionic compounds are by far the most common type of thing that we name, so we're going to learn the different types, different charged ions, um, where you have to use Roman numerals to figure out the charges, like our copper 2 is Cu plus 2. So remembering that we've got some Roman numerals we have to use. We've got the same charge, when to reduce, when not to reduce, and lastly our polyatomic ions. So let's hop right into it. Binary ionic compounds. Uh-oh, a metal and a non-metal. So again, it's ionic, so you're going to start with a metal and a non-metal. Write the ions and crisscross makes you want to... You may not know what I'm talking about, but hold on. So hopefully you're going to hear that crisscross makes you want to jump, jump. The Daddy Mac will make you jump, jump. So what am I talking about with this? If you can actually handle... Um, dealing with the crisscross music in the background, which was, of course, what I used to be bop to back in the day and wear my clothes backwards just like uh, crisscross does. But what I would mean with something like this is you learned in the last podcast, for example, that magnesium has a plus two charge, which is wicked a wicked a wicked a whack, and chloride would have a negative one charge. So when we crisscross, it makes you want to jump, jump, and what happens here is you get Mg1Cl2. So I'm going to stop crisscross now, sadly. But don't worry, it'll come back. And the reason why we do this is to balance the charges. So if magnesium is plus 2, and I know that compounds have an even charge, it, one chlorine, the sum of these two would still be plus 1, so I need another chlorine to make the charge 0. So crisscrossing is just a faster way of counting what you have to do to figure these out. So let's do some examples. Sodium chloride. Sodium is Na. Periodic table tells me Na is plus 1. Chloride is Cl. Periodic table tells me that's minus 1. Crisscross these, and because they're the same charge, it's just NaCl. Aluminum chloride. Periodic table tells me aluminum's in the plus 3 column. Chlorides in the minus one column. Crisscross Al three C. I did that wrong. AlCl three. And again, remember the signs don't move, just the numbers. Sodium sulfide. Na plus one. S negative two. Na two S. The two comes down. The one comes down. Again, this is not. And a negative 2s. That would be bad. Iron 2 hydroxide. Iron 2 is a Roman metal. It's got the Roman numeral here. So iron 2 hydroxide. So that tells me that iron, which has a couple of different choices for charge, is plus 2. Hydroxide is a polyatomic ion we've memorized, which is negative 1. So crisscross that, and here's something a little different. I'm not going to have two H's. I have two hydroxides. So the way I show that is FeOH in parentheses 2. Again, I don't have two hydrogens, I have two hydroxides. You need to think of your polyatomic units like a hand. Um, you think of your hand as a unit. You never think of them as individual parts, right? Um, you think of your hand as punching something, picking something up. You don't go, oh, you know what, my pinky doesn't really do much when I pick something up. No, your hand is a unit, and you need to think of these polyatomic ions as a unit. You can never separate them. You can't do anything, you know, if I said clap your hands, you don't think of one hand with ten fingers. You think of two hands with five, whatever. You get the idea. Cobalt 2, CO, plus 2, oxide O, negative 2. Now, if I crisscross here, I'm going to hit CO2. CO2O2. Coo, coo, coo. Um, and this, really, the point of crisscrossing is to balance the charges. Looking at this right now, the charges are balanced. So the best and only correct answer is coo, not coo, two, oo, two. So hopefully that helps. Going the other way. If I give you the names and try and or give you the formulas and try and give me the names. So Fe is iron. My first question is, is iron a metal? So I look on the periodic table to make sure I can name it using my crisscrossing rules. Iron is on the left of the stair step, so it is a metal. Um, is it a Roman metal? Is it at the region of the periodic table that needs a Roman numeral? The answer to that is yes. So I put parentheses that are empty right now. 
Then I have oxygen. Oxygen um, is a nonmetal, but I know since the first one's a metal, I have to make it a negative ion. So to make um, one element a negative ion, you need to make it end in ied and sound good. If you don't know what I mean, you're not going to say oxygenide. That doesn't sound good. You're going to say oxide. You're not going to say, I don't even know what else you can do with that one. But fluorine, fluoride. Oh, sounds good. Chlorine becomes chloride. And again, if it ends in ide, I think anything that ends in ide is an evil name. So you know that it's going to have a negative charge. So now I have to figure out what the charges are for these things. So what I'm going to do is uncrisscross, which makes you want to jump, jump. So looking at this uncrisscross, oxide must be negative 2. The periodic table says that it is. And iron must be plus 3. So iron with a plus 3 charge is iron 3. CRO2, look for chromium. It is a metal. It is a Roman metal. Again, oxygen is oxide. Um, now here, C R. When I uncrisscross this, it says chromium is plus two and oxygen is minus one. But the periodic table, which is always right, tells me that oxygen should be negative two. So in order to have that two there in C R O two, I need to have C R plus four O negative two. When I crisscross this, I get C R two O four which I should then reduce, because remember they're ionic compounds, we give the most reduced forms, to CrO2. So this means, and this is as hard as it gets, this should be chromium 4, unless you have numerals and knowing that IV is 4 is hard. All right, is calcium a metal? Yes, of course it is. Whoops, I wrote Cr oxide. Cr should be chromium. Sorry about that. And you thought you were going to get a mistake point on the pod quiz. CA is calcium. It's a metal. Not a Roman metal, so I do not use a Roman numeral. CL is chlorine, but to make it sound evil, it is chloride. Yay. Gold is a metal. It's a Roman metal. Er, er. O is oxygen. We know that would be oxide when it's a negative ion. So I uncrisscross. Is oxygen really negative 2 according to the periodic table? Yes, so that means gold must really be 3. Now I snuck in the Roman metals. I put this, should have put this slide first, but this is describing the Roman metals. Some elements do not have a set charge. Roman numerals tell us the charge, and they're on your sheet. And those are the ones I call Roman metals. So looking at this, this would be all of these guys. I'll cheat here a little bit. Are Roman metals. So uh, it's a metal. I look to make sure it's Roman. Uncrisscross is chloride really minus one on the periodic table? Yes. So it's iron three chloride. The reason why I check to make sure that it's really minus one is if it should be minus two, then I have to double the charges when I go through that. M N ooh manganese. Uncrisscrossing gives me manganese two. Nitrogen. Ooh, make that sound end in ide and sound good. Nitide, nide, nitride. Oh. Theo. Iron. Roman. Boop, boop. Is oxygen really minus one? No. Oxygen is really minus two. So instead of this being iron one oxide, it has to have twice that charge to cancel iron two. Iron 1 oxide would be Fe2O, which is not what we have here. Iron 2 oxide is not Fe2O2 because we'd need to reduce it. Good. Sn, tin. Roman metal? You betcha. Oxide? Whoop, whoop. Tin 2? Uh, uh, uh. This implies that oxygen's minus 1. And since it's not minus 1, it's really minus 2. I have to double it. So it's not tin 2 oxide, it's tin 4. Good buddy. Oxide. Here we've got chromium again. I'll actually write the word chromium. And it's Roman. Uncrisscross it. 
And again, notice how I had to use parentheses to show I had two of these because I have two nitrates. I don't have six ions or 32 oxygens. I have two nitrates. And chromium's charge is plus two, and nitrate is negative one, so that's fine and dandy. Uh oh, I think I better pause it because the bell's ringing. Now, you know what? I'll keep going so as people come in, they'll have to deal with it. Multiple polyatomics. So this hopefully will help with the parentheses. Polyatomic ionic compounds. We're used taken twice or taken three times. So if I had something in parentheses two, um, it'd be taken twice, parentheses three, taken three times. Don't change your polyatomic ions like your hand. Yay. Lead to acetate. Lead to is PB plus two. Acetate, C2H3O2, negative. Crisscross makes you want to jump, jump. PB1, C2H3O22, no. O4, no. Oh, two acetates. Iron 3, Fe plus 3. Oxalate, oxalate, C2O4, negative 2. I'm sure you have that one memorized already. Fe, crisscross, makes you want to jump, jump. The 2 comes down, the 3 comes down. F C two O four taken thrice. Silver nitrate A G silver. Is it a Roman metal? It doesn't tell me the charge. Oh no. Silver is always plus one. If you remember we made a big deal out of that. Nitrate NO three negative. It's A G N O three. Do you notice the nightmare this becomes if you do not know your polyatomic ions? Arg Go. Why do we crisscross again? Compounds have a net charge of nothing. When do we crisscross again? For ionic compounds. So again, we crisscross to equalize charge. My class is coming in right now, so they're wondering why they can't see on the board what I'm writing. Uh, when do we crisscross again? When it's an ionic compound. When is it ionic? When the compound starts with a metal. Let's do some last fun ones. BASO4. Oh, they really want to see this. I don't have it set up. BASO4. BA. Is it a metal? Yes. Is it a Roman metal? No. So I just write barium. What's SO4? Sulfate. NaHCO3. Na. Sodium. HCO3. CO3 is carbonate. HCO3 is hydrogen carbonate. Oh, but I memorized it as bicarbonate. That's fine. It's tomato, it's tomato, it's the same. NH4OH, ooh, the one positive ion we have. This is not a metal, but it is a polyatomic positive ion, so it's an ionic compound. So it's ammonium hydroxide. I'm feeling very self-conscious as people watch me do this. <laughs> NH4, and laugh at me. NH4 taken twice, S. So this 2 here freaked me out a little bit, but that just tells me that um, the crisscross works. So again, it's ammonium. The only time it doesn't start with a metal. And then S is all by itself. I need to make it sound. I might need to make it end in eyed and sound good. Ammonium sulfide. There are examples. That's it in under 14 minutes. Woo! Hopefully you're having a great Sunday watching football, unless you, of course, rushed home on a Friday night to watch the podcast. So see you in class or Saturday, because we all know Saturday is podcast day. Have a good one.